It's been Pixie here, and the rain just freaking stopped. I was gonna come out here and show you that it's raining. It's still sprinkling a bit, but it was raining a lot more just a second ago, and California rains are particularly important right now because we are in the midst of a drought. But look at my yard! It got mowed or weed whacked. It's not perfect, but it'll do for now, you know? Um, I'm thinking about putting a wonderful practicing space out here. I've been here two years, and I'll get to the dramatic story in future videos, but um, I'm thinking about putting a circle space here so that I can practice out here. Wouldn't it be perfect? Just the hills and the nature -y and the tree, and I love it here. I love my home. This is the shed that no one enters because who knows what you're going to find. And it was here when I moved here, and I still have never been in it. So, yeah. But, um, oh my gosh, it's raining! <laughs> Yay, it's raining. Look at it, it's raining. Hey everybody, tis I, Spin Pixie, and I am creating once again. Um, so yay, or oh, depending on your take on my videos thus far. But yay, because I'm me and I like me. So yay! <laughs> okay, so... Um, today we're going to be working in my book, my wonderfully destroyed book of Mega Mess. We have two exercises today involving, involving um, painting or coloring, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do those today. This one is the one in which you paint with your elbows. See that? It's not a butt crack, it's an elbow. So, I'll be creating with my elbow today. To help me do this particular exercise, I wanted something I could wash off easily. Um, I brought in my old paints, and you can see that they're old and dusty, sort of. Very. So, I'll be using that, and then in a later exercise, I'll be using watercolors and possibly cake dyes, which I've showed you in other videos. Um, this really pretty nail polish here. Um and a straw from Popeyes, apparently, to create a masterful work of art. So, let's go ahead and get started. This is my palette. I'm just working with yellow and blue here. And these are old paints, so you can see it's kind of separated, but hopefully it'll transfer well onto the page. So now we will transfer this onto my elbows and begin the proceeds of creating. Oh, here we go. I'm making a mess already. Oh, wow. Okay. Transferring the ink, paint, pigment onto my elbows, and away we go. I feel like I'm on an episode of Double Dare. Like, who can get the most paint on the page in 60 seconds? And then you'll go to the physical challenge or the obstacle course or whatever. So I'm gonna flip it around so that I so that I get some blue and yellow on opposite sides. Okay, I'm gonna flip the book back Ooh, around. So that I can continue on the bottom of the book. Okay. Here we go. This is fun! <laughs> For anyone who has never tried painting with their elbows. I highly recommend it. It's rather enjoyable. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think if I put much more pigment on this page, um, I don't, I don't think the page can handle it, but I'll 
I'm gonna try. I'll show you my. I'll show you my palette after after we're done here, cause um, it's rather uh interesting. There's like some splotches of blues, and uh, not only apparently am I right-handed, but I'm right-elbowed too. I seem to do better that way. So that's that. I'm, I'm actually gonna go and blow dry this so that it'll dry faster, and then I want to add another coat. Now it's on to coat number two, and I've got a purple and a green, and here we go. Is this interesting? Are you guys having fun watching me do this? Alright, just for a second here. There's my palette right now. I'm going to turn my palette a second way so I can incorporate the colors into each other. This green is so pretty. La, 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 la. I think I'm having far too much fun. I don't feel done. It looks done, but I don't feel done. Let's do one more go round. I just like rubbing my elbows in this paint. There's something therapeutic about it. No, man. It just feels good. So I'm done with that. And my palette looks like that. Hopefully you guys can see it. I can't see if you're seeing it, but it looks good, doesn't it? So, yeah. I'm going to blow dry this. and then Let's I'll go ahead and go into the page. I like how all the exercises touch each other in this book. How one exercise sort of bleeds into the next, so you can see the paint. And then, this doesn't want to open for me, hang on a sec. Okay, so this is making it look uber dark, and I just like the way the colors are showing up because it looks very dark and very foresty and just like night sky meets forest sort of dark but it's not how it looks on the page like these greens here um show up much more green than they are here than they're showing up right now um but I'll, I'll definitely get some pictures posted of what what it looks like in the light but i like the way that this is looking on camera but that's how how it ended up looking so yeah so this is fun so join me in the next one guys Howdy. So this is exercise number two today. Well, the second one that I'm doing today, but it's like exercise number five or some odd in the book. Um, so today we are going to take ink or some colored pigment and blow it across the page with the help of this straw here. And my pigment today, or for this exercise, is going to be some ink. So uh, I think it's black and red here. And then, as I mentioned in the previous video I did, I'm also going to be using nail polish. It's actually, I believe, blue and glittery, but you can't tell in this light. And then, for some reason, it sort of called to me... <clears throat> excuse me. For some reason, it sort of called to me to use a bit of um, Dragon's Blood incense uh, for the color. Um, so, I'm going to do that uh, once I'm done inking up this page. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, and we'll see how this ends up. Alright, I'm hoping you can see the whole page, because the way that I have my camera set up, I can't see what you're seeing. So, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing, because otherwise this will be a waste of video, and I'll be so sad. Okay, so, got my straw, and let's get started. Let's see, here we go. I'm just going to kind of glop some on there. 
That's not working. That's not working. I'll do this. Get a little water up in here. No. Um, let's try we'll spill a little bit of nail polish on there just like that Get some red in there. Stuff that will stain, and I'll see you guys in the next one. 